Hello, I just wanted to add an extra piece of information in regards to using selections and tools. Uh, in this particular picture, um, a student got this picture and said, hey, I want to cut out this bicycle. And this bicycle will be a really good uh, look for my project. And the picture looks good, but notice on the bottom left, this picture is at 100%. This picture is tiny. It's 147.4 kilo. Uh, K, which is very small. It doesn't have a lot of data. So here's the uh, obstacle we're going to have. If we take cut out this bicycles mm -hmm. and we put them on a the bigger picture, it's going to look very distorted. Look, we zoom in to almost 400%. Look how distorted the picture is. It's not a high quality picture, but let's say we want to use it. When you are working with a less than high quality picture, it's going to be more difficult to select. Let's go ahead and select the bicycle that we have right here. And we're going to use various tools because it's going to be really difficult to select this particular bicycle because you're working on the pixel level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's see what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a quick select brush to see what I can select really quickly right, from the bicycle. Notice I'm selecting it really quickly, and this is the best I can select right now, but let's go ahead and modify the selection a little bit by zooming in. Notice how when we zoom in, we are working on the pixel level because it's not really a sharp image. So we have to do a lot of work. We have to do a lot of manipulation. And the picture won't be perfect, but at least it'll be a selection. So right now I just did a rough selection using, uh, using um, the tools that I have uh, right now, which is the, the quick select brush tool. See how it's gonna be actually jumping around. I'm trying to select the best I can. Now, I'm also gonna subtract some areas that I don't need that accidentally got selected that you see right here. And I'm gonna to try to also select, use different selections like the elliptical tool to reselect the tire. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna to add to selection and I'm gonna create this little tire. Cause I wanna have a perfect circle as much as I can. And I'm going to subtract from the selection as well. So let me go ahead and do the subtraction from the selection. There we go. I also need to subtract the shadow from the selection. So let me go back to a quick uh, selection bar and subtract this. Hopefully it won't subtract too much of the work I did. And of course it does because it is a low quality picture, very low quality picture. See what I have to deal with? So let me go back to the elliptical tool and add to the selection again. I have to redo this part. There we go and I'm adding to the selection. And then I'm gonna subtract from the selection as well, because I need the middle of the tire to be subtracted, right? So I'm going to subtract from the selection right there, just like that. Right, and I'm gonna add using the selection tools. See what I'm doing? I'm just going back and forth and adding, subtracting to the selection. To get the selection that I'm actually going for. See that? Add a little bit to this, this selection, the green, the green hue, there we go. So now let's go ahead and work with the front 
of the tire in much the same way. I'm gonna subtract from the selection all of these colors. And I'm then I'm gonna use the elliptical tool and I'm gonna add to the selection. I'm basically trying to encompass the entire tire. I think that looks good right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract from the selection, the internal tire. And that's gonna give me this nice little edge that I'm looking for. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be better than what it could be. Now I need to select some of these other aspects. So let me go ahead, go back to the quick, quick selection brush. And I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm gonna, what I did is created a new selection by accident. I'm gonna add this part right here I'm going to subtract this space right here. I'm gonna add the human back in. It's a very tedious process as you can see. Now there's gonna be a lot of things that I need to do right into these wheel wells. So I'm going to go ahead and create, add this real quick. Subtract. some areas. I just wanted to add the person's feet and notice what happened. A whole bunch of stuff got added in. There we go. Subtract this little area that kind of looks funky. Oh, that's actually part of his feet. So let's go ahead and add it back in. Notice it takes patience to make a good selection. It doesn't just automatically happen. And now I think I'm a little bit done. So let me go ahead and do layer new via cut. Oh, let's just do it via cut. Let, let's do it via cut. And let's see what we have. See, this is what we have. We need to use the eraser tool to delete some of these areas, maybe right in the middle, right here. We definitely need to delete between the person's legs so we can see through it. And notice it is a very bad looking selection. So now the other thing we're gonna need, I'm gonna make a selection. Let me see what tool I'm gonna use. I'm going to use let me do a quick select tool. I'm just gonna select this area right here. Uh, this tool is not working very well. Let's see if I can use a different tool. Let me use a rectangle tool. I'm gonna select this area right here. And I'm gonna select this area right here, right? So I'm doing two selections. I'm doing a selection right here for the wheel hub, and I'm doing a selection right here for the rear wheel hub. And I'm gonna go uh, selection, um, let's see. So layer new via cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. I'm gonna take an eraser now. I'm, I'm using, I'm viewing the top two layer, layer one and layer two. Now I'm gonna take an eraser and I'm just gonna erase some of the stuff that I don't want. Notice I'm working with pixels. Mm, kind of don't like that. I kind of made a mistake. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out. I'm basically, I'm basically drawing the bike's frame. So over here, I'm gonna follow these lines, 
gonna delete a couple of spokes. I'm just deleting little pixels to make this image a little bit better. Not by much though. Okay, let's see what happens. Zoom out. And there's your bike selection. Um, don't like this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use a healing brush. I'm going to select this as a donor area and I'm just going to connect this area right here. Use a healing brush. Select some of the area right here. Actually, don't like it. I'm going to go ahead back to the erasing tool and get rid of this part right here. I'm gonna zoom in, something's going on with the feet, which I'm not really particularly happy with. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of the areas that I feel that I'm not happy with, with the feet. Right, and just like that, the image comes to being. Okay, so there's my image and it's not really good. So it takes two images to make it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and at this moment, merge the layer one and layer two together. Notice everything is visible. And I'm gonna go ahead and right click and merge visible. So now it became one layer. There's my person. And now I go back to 100% and see the selection. And there's my bicycle. Now, the reason I did so much work on it, when you take a different layer, let me go ahead and put a different layer back in. You have a different layer. Now we can take this bicycle and we can move him and then crop, if we wanna crop this other area. And now you see the bicycle overlapping and you can see through the tires. You see what's happening? It's actually more realistic. So people are kind of three-dimensional. For instance, I'm going to leave them right here and see what the effect we have. One bicycle, two bicycle, three bicycle, and people looking at something. Or you can put them behind, but in order to put them behind, you will need to select these bicycles and then layer it accordingly. So right now it's easy to put them up front or right, right at the bottom like this. If you want them behind these people, you've got to select the, all the bicycle parts and the people, create a new layer and put these people's layers on top of this individual. Remember we talked about layers. Anyway, when you have a higher quality picture, you can do a better selection, the bottom line is. And when you do, you do a better selection, your images will look better. Okay, that's about it. Hopefully this was helpful to everybody when they're doing the projects. Make sure you select a high image or high quality picture to work with. It'll make things a lot easier. Thank you very much. This is Professor Peransky, and I'll see you online.